Assalamualaikum everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. In this video, we are going to talk about a nilo diabetic snob box. So you can see over here the diabetic snob box is a triangular depression which is present on the radial dorsal side of the hand, and uh, you can easily appreciate the diabetic snob box in your own hand when you extend the thumb. So by extending the thumb, uh, you will see a triangular depression on just the radial dorsal aspect of the hand here. So this is the anatomical snub box. Anatomical snub box borders have floor, it have roof, and it have contents. Now going to the borders of the anatomical snub box. <laughs> As I have talked that uh, the anatomical snub box have borders. It have three borders. One is the medial border, which is also called ulnar border. The other is radial border, which is also called the lateral border, and the other is proximal border. So the ulnar border is formed the formed by the extensor pollicis longus. This muscle is called the extensor pollicis longus muscle. And the radial border or the lateral border is formed by the extensor pollicis brevis. This is the extensor pollicis brevis. And uh, the abductor pollicis longus tendon. This is the abductor pollicis longus tendon. The medial and lateral border of the anatomical snub box is formed by the tendon of this muscle. Now the proximal border is formed by the stylite process of the radius. This is the this is the radius and this is the stylite process of the radius. It is formed by the stylite process. Of now the, the floor of the anatomical snub box is mainly formed by the scaphoid bone and the trapezium bone. So. Now the roof, uh, the roof of the anatomical snub box is formed by the skin which is present over the muscles. Now what are the contents of the anatomical snub box? Anatomical uh, snub box have three contents. One is the radial artery, the other is a pelican, and the other is uh, branches of the radial nerve. Branches of the radial nerve. So, going to discuss the contents of the anatomical snub box. First, I am going to discuss the radial artery. You can see over here. This is the radial artery. This is the radial artery, which is entering from the ventral aspect of the hand, just on the front of the stylar pass of the radius, and entering into the anatomical snub box. And uh, you can see over here, it is entering into the anatomical snub box just at the distal end of the uh, scaphoid bone. So whenever there is injury to the radio due to scaphoid fracture, there is increased risk of scaphoid avascular necrosis because the radial artery is more away from the scaphoid bone. Whenever the fracture of the scaphoid bone is left onted, it can lead to osteoarthritis later in life. So the first content is the radial artery. Now the second content of the anatomical snub box is the sepalic vein, which is not visible here in this picture. The sepalic vein is present here, which is not visible here. The print of the anatomical snub box are the branches of the radial nerve, which is present just under the skin. So, this was all about the anatomical snub box. For more videos, subscribe, like, and share. So, thanks for watching the video.